continue the Harry Potter's journey. Remember, remember correctly, Grand Marcus is gonna go to the Academy. Please meet me as soon as possible. I received an interesting hour from Joanna Bickel about Harlow. told me about your reading of the fortress as it moves as well. Just the person I was hoping to see. Well, you... I was standing here the whole time. 
I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Rebellio. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How 
wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. These rocks have seen better days. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this.
Brilliant. Halo's reign ends today. Revelio. Perhaps we ought to be the singer of our plans. I already sent her an All right, just gonna change the styles. Let you know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. Revelio. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Oh, likely. Be as a shadow. Calibo children, walk right into our trap. Ashwinders, we were right. Revelio. I brought every traveling vendor that passed through here. They never see it coming. They're incapable of defending themselves. Okay. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem solving skills. Let's 
He's not dead. He just caught she had his curse on Natty. I hope she's I hope she's okay. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? She's okay. Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, Mother. Rebellion! <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Thanks to you. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You made a choice to protect me. You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice, based on instinct. My father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Rookwood's dead. Oh. I complete the relationship line. Revelio. Alohomora.
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Deke has some exciting news to share. Ooh, what's the exciting news, Deke? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. 
deep hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Not a party to attend by myself. <laughs> Time for a jaunt, I'd say. some sightseeing. Blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Couldn't bring them! Could the Phoenix be in there? Rebellion!
Rebellion. Oh, should have stayed at the castle. Crucial. <laughs> Can't they? We keep them people out. Pay attention. Yes, 
Phoenix. Hello, Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Revelio. There it is again.
To help. I can take you somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... What a beauty. You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him.
I love her more.
If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, one of the 18th century's rebellions was led by Erg the Unclean. He had been dunked in a pond publicly by a group of young wizards, if you can imagine that. Another rebellion in 1752. The rebellion was so badly mishandled that Minister for Magic Albert Boot was forced to resign. That being said, his replacement, one Basil Fleck, lasted mere weeks. Best sort of vindication, if you ask my opinion. Please go on. Two months into Fleck's tenure, the man went to work for the werewolves allied with the goblins. Quite smartly, Fleck resigned.
really fun you know, defeating Hollow and rescuing all beasts So for tonight, watching the sun drop the sun.